Renowned comedian Richard Lewis celebrated for his uproarious and neurotic camaraderie with Curb Your Enthusiasm creator and star Larry David on HBO has passed away at the age of 76. Larry David honored his enduring friendship with Richard Lewis in a heartfelt written statement released on Wednesday. Richard and I were born three days apart in the same hospital, and for most of my life he's been like a brother to me. He had that rare combination of being the funniest person and also the sweetest. But today he made me sob and for that I'll never forgive him. While Lewis leaves a legacy of comedic genius in his trademark performances, he also left his Los Angeles homes behind too, including his stunning mid-century style home he kept very private, which boasted three bedrooms and 2,000 300 square feet of space. Renowned stand-up comic Richard Lewis, cherished for his satirical comedy and portrayal of a fictionalized version of himself on HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm, has passed away at his LA residence following a heart attack. The news was verified by his publicist, Jeff Abraham. Lewis had been coping with Parkinson's disease, a condition he confirmed in April 2023. Abraham stated his wife, Joyce Lipinski, expresses gratitude for the outpouring of love, friendship, and support support and requests privacy during this period. Richard Philip Lewis, born on June 29, 1947 in Brooklyn and raised in Englewood, New Jersey, faced a challenging childhood but overcame it to graduate from Ohio State University. Lewis was born to a mother who was an actress and a father who owned a catering business, and he described himself as a class clown in high school. Richard graduated with a degree in marketing from the Ohio State University before venturing into comedy as an adult. After graduating, he did stand up around New York York City at night and worked as a copywriter for an advertising agency during the day. He immersed himself in the vibrant comedy scenes of New York and Los Angeles during the 1970s, sharing the stage with emerging talents like Andy Kaufman, Richard Belzer, and Elaine Boosler. Quickly gaining popularity, Lewis became a frequent guest on late night shows, including The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. His sharp wit and observational humor set him apart, eventually leading him to become a prominent figure in the stand-up comedy scene. Known for his unique and almost as dark as his signature all-black attire, Lewis crafted a signature stage persona that seamlessly blended comedy and therapy. In the early years, Lewis faced personal struggles, including battles with addiction. Lewis was vocal about his own addiction. He frequently confronted his alcoholism and substance use during his stand-up, and he also reflected on his sobriety journey in his memoir, The Other Great Depression. Lewis said that he got sober in August 1994 after a near-death experience that landed him in the hospital. Well, he turned these experiences into comedic gold, using humor as a coping mechanism and way of connecting with his audience on a deeper level. In 2000, Lewis embarked on what would become his iconic role, a character closely based on himself in HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm. This opportunity, fittingly enough, came from his childhood friend, Larry David, whom he had met at a summer camp at the age of 12. Their friendship, rekindled on the New York comedy circuit a decade later, led to Lewis securing a role that would further solidify his status as a comedic force. In 2016, Richard Lewis listed his former Los Angeles residence for just under $1.6 million. The three-level villa was situated in the stunning Laurel Canyon area and it was built in 1926, but upgraded and modernized in more recent years. Lewis owned the Mediterranean-style house for over three decades, but it had also been home to Green Acres star Eddie Gilbert and other screenwriters and directors throughout its history. Inside, this home boasts 2,508 square feet of space full of California charm, featuring a striped canopy adorned terrace, an open living space with a fully equipped wet bar, and much more. The home includes two bedrooms, two bathrooms, as well as a penthouse level boasting a complete master suite, panoramic city views, a separate office sitting room, and a private first floor guest enclave. Elsewhere in Lewis's former home, you'll find an updated kitchen with stainless steel appliances, as well as a spacious media room. Other details include hardwood and tiled floors underfoot, as well as a two car garage, plus an off street parking spot. The listing agent at the time, Richard Marie, stated Mr. Lewis's home is located in a close in prime Sunset Strip location and it's great for anyone looking for privacy with the clubs, restaurants, and everything the city has to offer. 
Records show that Lewis owned the property from 1989 to 2017 and eventually sold it the year after listing for $1.4 million. The listing agent at the time also noted that Lewis was parting with the place because he quote unquote wanted a change. Now, when it comes to the last place Richard Lewis was living at the time of his passing, he kept his home more private, but it was also in Los Angeles. While photos haven't been updated since Lewis purchased the scenic spot back in 2016 for just over $1.5 million, you can still get an idea of what a calm and tranquil space it is. The mid-century style home offered up three bedrooms and was set behind tall gates. It was completely private thanks to a lot of lush landscaping surrounding the property, giving the feel of a true escape. Inside, the home offered nearly 2,300 square feet of living space as well as a lot of flowing indoor to outdoor connections, walls of glass and a mix of bamboo and slate floors. The listing noted that at the time it was last sold, the property had been tastefully remodeled, such as significant updates to the bathrooms and the kitchen. The living and dining areas as well as the spacious master suite all opened up to the backyard. Outside the grounds included a stunning pool with a waterfall as well as a surrounding terrace. Located in the Lake Hollywood Estates District, the home was close to the studios in Hollywood as well as downtown Los Angeles. While that wraps up this video of the late and great Richard Lewis, we were able to get a bit of a better look into the places he called home before his passing. Richard Lewis was not just a comedian, he was a comedic trailblazer whose unique style and personal journey endeared him to audiences worldwide. His recent passing marked the end of an era, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and a void in the comedy world that will be felt for years to come. As fans remember the iconic comedian, they will forever cherish the joy and the humor he brought into their lives, whether it was on his iconic role in Curb Your Enthusiasm, his stand-up, or elsewhere. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, be sure to leave your favorite Richard Lewis memory in the comment section below and pay tribute to the legendary comedian. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.